Hey everyone, in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we are gonna look at a new recipe pattern that's gone into the Power Query recipes on how to actually shift columns in your data. And this actually came from Q&A in one of the courses that I was actually teaching at Skillwave. So let's take a look at this data here. What's happened is the user imported data from PDF and it worked really, really well for the first three columns. And then we got this little shifting that happened here where burgers shifted over a column. And then a couple rows later, we got another shift over here. And we wanna get all of these things back aligned to the left. So the first thing we need to do in order to make this happen is do a replacement of our null values, but we can't do that while the columns have an any data type. So we're gonna change these to be text. Once we've done that, we now have the ability to replace values. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace our null with a space. We're gonna say, okay, this now blanks these guys out. So now I can grab all of the columns here, right click, merge columns, and I'm gonna choose a custom separator that does not exist anywhere else in my data. I'm gonna go with a pipe, shift backslash, uh, if you have that in your data, try a different character or you know a couple of different pipes. So we'll actually work there in order to make that work. Don't worry about the column name. We're just gonna say okay, and that's gonna merge everything together. The next thing we do, if we go right click, replace values, and we're gonna replace every instance of space and our delimiter pattern, so in my case, the pipe, with nothing at all. We'll say okay, and you'll notice that trims everything to the left. At this point, I can now go and split columns by delimiter. We're gonna use my custom delimiter right there that doesn't occur anywhere else in the data, and we're gonna split by each occurrence of it. And boom, just like that, we've now got all of our data shifted over to the left. Granted, we have some additional columns, no big deal though. We're just gonna grab the three we actually want, right click, remove other columns, and at this point, the only thing that's really left here is to go and actually finish cleaning up the data. So I'm just gonna go and add a new step here to convert this to a date, and boom, just like that, my data is nicely cleaned. Not bad, shifted everything over by just using a couple of little replacement of values and some merging and splits, and everything comes out very nicely. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.